I've made some mistakes in my YouTube career, and in today's video, I'm gonna do my best to address them and fix them. But before I get to that, we need to get to something that is happening right now. Because this only happens for one week out of the year here in Vancouver. It's the Cherry Blossom Festival. Now the Cherry Blossom Festival is generally synonymous with Japan, but it's a big deal here because we have over 40,000 trees here in Vancouver. Now we got our original 50 from the mayors of Kobe and Yokohama, Japan in the 1930s, kind of as a thank you for recognizing the Japanese Canadians that fought in World War I. And I don't know how we got the other 39,500, but they're here and we have a whole bunch of varieties. Now the thing with the cherry trees, from the day that the first blossom blooms to the day that the last petal falls is only about two to three weeks. And that gets shortened if it rains or is cloudy, which happens a lot here in Vancouver. So you're lucky if you get a week of blossomed cherry petals blooming on the trees. Because they're so beautiful and because they only last a week, they do draw a lot of photographers, a lot of models, and just people that want to take pictures and put them on Instagram, which, these days is something to get you out of the house, so it's a good thing. So a thank you gift from Japan in the 1930s still makes us smile every spring. I like that about Vancouver. But it's spring. It's more than just the cherry blossoms that are blooming. It's pretty close to everything. Oh, this is the newest mural in Vancouver. It's called The Wall for Women, and uh, I think it has something to do about violence against women, which is very prevalent at the moment in Vancouver and Canada and all over the world, in fact. Uh, apparently it's interactive. This kind of looks like a QR code, but it's clearly been painted, so let's see if it works. Uh, oh my gosh. Wow. There are QR codes painted right into the mural. So when you hold your phone up to take a picture of it, you get that swipe down bar from Safari at the top, touch that, goes to donate to charities that support or are against violence against women. That's incredible. You go to take a picture of it and it sends you right to donate. So cool, so cool. Love technology and art coming together. Awesome. Getting to be sunset. Perfect night, perfect spring night. Now the last time I was here I was talking how the harbor is an aerodrome for seaplanes, helicopters, and that the air traffic control tower is harbor center right there. This, this one. All the information I gave about it is true, except I pointed at the wrong building. You see, that is the control tower right there. Top of the building, 200 Granville Street. It's still the tallest air traffic control tower in the world. A number of you left comments under the last video saying that Suvar Nabumi Airport, the Bangkok International Airport, was the tallest air traffic control tower at 132 meters. Well, this one's 142 meters, so I don't know how math works where you are, but this is taller. So I'm very sorry for that. Let's go over some more. So on my walk out to the point, I walked past a couple that introduced themselves and he uh, watched the video on last week's video of the walking the seawall. And so he went out and ran it the next day. So we'll see if I was lying or made any mistakes about the distance. Yeah, I started just down there. It took me two and a half hours. Yeah, um, which is flying by the way. It took me 12 to walk, mind you, I was <laughs> filming, but did I lie about the distance? Was it 28 kilometers? I thought you were exaggerating it, but no, it was like, it was, I think, 27 or something like that. So you're a kilometer short, but maybe okay. maybe you stopped for food or something along maybe, the way. Maybe, yeah. maybe. How are the feet? I, I definitely laid down for a lot afterwards, but I got these shoes. They got a lot of thick foam on them. Special shoes. Yeah. Rose, is he, is he telling the truth? He was in pain after the run? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm gonna talk about mistakes that I've made recently, I have to talk about the Stadium Chinatown station. I said, the first secret is that here at Stadium Chinatown, there are three entrances to the station, but there used to be four. I showed you the south, the east, and the north entrance, as well as the sealed fourth entrance. But actually, there's a fifth entrance here as well, because there's a third rail, a third platform, if you will, to the station, which was used for Expo 86. This was essentially a direct access to that separate platform, which was just a shuttle train down to Canada Place and back. It gets used occasionally for special events. So I didn't include it because it doesn't get used, but it, it is there, so it was a mistake. Okay, I clearly got here way later than I wanted to. We are now at Fraser River Park. 
excuse me, do you know if there's a boardwalk section in the park? And it's gonna get to a point where you will see there's like a bridge. Perfect, thank you very much. So, one, one person commented on a video from a while back when I said this, but in Vancouver proper, this is the only boardwalked, 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 boardwalked area. And they commented below and said that there is a boardwalked, a boardwalked area here in this park, Fraser River Park. I know it's getting a little dark to see, but this is the length that I go to to verify my information. I could have just probably looked it up on Google or something or Google Maps, but instead I'm here to look for myself to find out if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong. Also, this is probably, I would not recommend anyone go into a park after dark alone. Also, I don't think I've told anyone I'm here. This is more of a bridge. There's a creek there and it goes underneath. So, so far this is a bridge. This is a boardwalk. Well, I'm on a pier segment now, but I have to say, I do think that is enough to be considered a boardwalk. So thank you for submitting that comment. But look, I put a lot of effort into the research I do. And if there's a website that says it's the only boardwalk in Vancouver, that's what I say. Now, obviously the website could have been a little outdated and I don't have the capacity to go to every single park to verify it. So thank you for leaving the comment and correcting me. And I'm sorry for making the mistake in the first place. I'm just trying to pass on the best information I can. But I am very happy you brought me here because this is a, a beautiful park. I've actually never been here before. On my trip to Scotland just before COVID hit, uh, I started one of my train trips at St. George Square but instead I called it. Morning's trip starts here in St. George's Square. It's not St. George's Square. It's St. George Square. I'm very sorry to all of you people from Scotland that commented. Thank you for clarifying. Okay, I don't wanna sound like a repeating apologetic Canadian, but I wanted to use this to tell you that it's okay to make mistakes. We're human, we all make mistakes. It's totally normal as long as you can use that to learn from. As long as you can use, let me say that one more time. Learning and growth are the most important part. If you wanna to continue to progress in whatever it is you're doing, life, your career, and speaking of growth, can we go back and look at my old hair there for a minute? Look at that, blue sky is back. Wow, it has been a while. I might need to take care of this. We will uh, we'll get to that another time. But I wanna let you know that I'm doing my best. And in the coming years, I'm gonna be bringing more information and more experiences to you, and I might not get everything right but I'm human and you've all been very kind to me over the few mistakes that I've made. And I really appreciate those who have left the comments to educate me and te teach me something I didn't know before. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, this is a very odd video for you to be discovering me on, but my name's Mike, the channel is Downy Live and it's generally lately been a lot of Vancouver videos, but we're gonna get back to the adventure and the behind the scenes very soon. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, but you've been watching for a while, now's a good time. In fact, you can click my face, that'll do it pretty much right away. And you can watch one of my old videos right there because as we know, I don't know where I'm going next, but I do know I want you there with me. So I'll see you next Saturday.